Good morning and welcome back to Guni Log. Wow, it's right now 7.30 and yeah. So um, yeah, I sleep naked, <laughs> um, but I'm gonna get dressed up. Uh, I'm gonna have um, breakfast, gonna have my coffee, and then um, and I have a class at 10 a.m. So I'm gonna get ready for that. So yeah. So in the morning, I have cereal and then my protein shake. Just having cereal in the morning makes me really hungry before lunch. So, um, and protein shake kind of solves that problem. And also, I need the protein to gain muscles. So this is what I'm doing in the morning. I usually wake up at um, 7 a.m. And then I have my breakfast, coffee, and my protein shake. My roommate wakes up about like, um, 9 to 10 a.m. Um, what I like to do in the morning is just um, read or um, but for today I have class at 10 a.m. which is anatomy and physiology so I'm gonna review female reproductive system and I usually plan my day like right before I went to bed or I used this morning to plan out my day. So I used uh, so I used Notion here, and they this is a really good productivity app. I like I keep my books here, my book reviews, not a lot because I just started. And um, yeah, this is my like to do list. So Friday I have uh, anatomy and physiology Zoom session. Um, I have international student office meeting at 1 a.m. at uh, 1 p.m. and then yeah, female reproductive review. I'm gonna do it this morning. And then I have gym. I forgot to put gym in there. After gym, uh, it's my friend's birthday, so we're not gonna have a huge party or anything because everyone has exams. But um, we're gonna say happy. We're gonna sing happy birthday to him and give him like a surprise cake so yeah it'll be fun so after that i'll do some more work so we'll see what happens okay so here i am studying female reproductive system and you can see here that i am barely taking any notes this is because i made myself some kind of a rule or a structure when i'm studying for a specific subject so for anatomy and physiology, I first read the textbooks along with the slides and use additional resources such as YouTube videos. This is my understanding phase where I try to consume every information about a certain topic but not too much. I first skim through the lecture slides and read the relevant parts in the textbook that needs thorough understanding. And after that, it is my connecting phase. Yes, I understand what the lecture is talking about now, but the information are scattered in my head and I want to connect them together to give them a certain structure so I can memorize them better. This phase is very important to me because here I can condense the, like, the 60 lecture slides into one page and understand that lecture as a whole. This is not only satisfying but also helps a lot with my memorization. Here I use mind map a lot and I try to draw some diagrams or create mnemonics. The last step would be studying the minor, minor informations in the slides, like the name of a certain drug or diseases. I'll write them down in a sheet of paper so I can later look at them right before the exam, putting them into my like short term memory. While I was studying, our landlord came by to install a curtain for Josh's room. And that was because of a funny but serious incident that happened two days ago. So long story short, we gave a stranger 25 VC because the guy was keep calling Josh from the gate where he could see Josh through the window. We knew what was happening at that moment but it was very hard to ignore because Josh's window didn't have a curtain and he could see Josh through the window. 
and the guy was keep calling him and we just have to give the guy money. So, in the meanwhile, I'll just open up, uh, I guess, open up, ask if anyone has any questions regarding the material or anything you think they have difficulty with or want me to cover again. So this is our anatomy and physiology live Zoom session. Today we went over the histology and physiology of the female and male reproductive system. Here I want to ask you guys a question. When you're taking notes in class, do you take notes by hand or by typing them? Well, both have their pros and cons. However, from a book called How to Take Smart Notes by Zonke Ahrens, there were these two psychologists, Mueller and Oppenheimer, who actually made a study about this to find out which method is better than the other. They found out that the group of students who took their notes by hand and the other group who typed them into their laptops didn't have that much difference in terms of remembering facts. However, in terms of understanding the content of the lecture, the students who took their notes by hand came out much, much better. After a week, this difference in understanding was clearly measurable. And there are many other studies that support this and indicate writing by hand facilitates understanding. Students can't write fast enough to keep up with everything that is said in a lecture, so they are forced to focus on the gist of what is being said, not the details. So next time when you're in a lecture, try to understand the point or the essence that the lecturer is trying to make, instead of the each individual details. Alright, I just finished my class and I did male and female reproductive system. Now it's like about 12 o'clock, so I'm gonna have lunch and then, um, yeah, what am I gonna do next? Oh yeah, so after lunch, I have an international student office meeting, so I'll attend that on 1 p.m. So I did AMP Zoom session, female reproductive review. Honestly, I think I need to review again for female reproductive. So yeah, international student office, then I'll do organic chemistry, which I have to study spectroscopy, then uh, go to gym. All right, um, and I have to upload the public speaking video, which I'll do right now. Hi, Eric. Hi, Kizzy. Good afternoon. I'm doing good. Good day, everyone. The International Student Office is where we provide SU students with services such as campus resources, engagement, or immigration advice, aiding in new students' transition and cultural adjustment. And for today's meeting, we talked about our upcoming event, which is on April 1st, Thursday at 6 p.m. called Country Meetup. We will start with a poll, have a presentation, our student organization from SGU will do some kind of a trivia, then we'll have a breakout room session and interact with the people who joined for the session. So if you are an ASU student, I hope you can join us. The Zoom link will be shared on the school website, Karanage, or it will be in the email sometime next week. Or you can also follow me on Instagram and I'll let you guys know on my story. <laughs> so Josh, what did you do today? Nothing. I was very unproductive. Just lectures were going slow today, so haven't done much. I had a meeting that took two hours. It was like a two-hour, two-hour lecture. Mm -hmm. I did a physio lecture. I did an anatomy lecture. Those took me ages. I also did something else, but I've still got loads to do when I get back. So I'm going to the gym now just to kind of change the pace and. Give myself a bit of a break okay. and kill Eric. <laughs> so what is the gym plan? Today we're going to be doing a nice little upper body session. We're going to do some chest, uh, back, do some arms as well. Favourite day of the week.
glasses, bro. Yeah. Did you spill on his glasses? Yeah, it dribbled on his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so after gym was my dinner, then after my dinner was my friend's birthday party, and the cake was quite interesting. Okay, so that is it for today guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos about SGU, Grenada, and my pre-med life. If you have any questions about SGU or Grenada, feel free to uh, message me on Instagram at Goonigram or you can comment on the comment section and I'll try to um, answer your question as best as much as knowledgeable as possible. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.